I think we got work to do and we're ready to do it. It was Texas EquiSearch volunteers that found Felicia Johnson's purse in Bear Creek Park, close to where Johnson's family found her cell phone. And although Houston police believe the 24 year old was murdered, they still have not found her body. Bear Creek Park, it's thick in areas. There's some little roads that go off. There's some little areas that would be simple to pull in and dump something and get out without being seen. Tim Miller says his volunteers stand ready to search again. The suspect, Chukuibuka Nuobodo, is charged with murder, but still on the run. We actually didn't even do call outs for all of our members because we didn't want the possible suspect to know where we were searching or what we were doing. According to court documents, here's the timeline Houston Police homicide detectives have laid out. On April 16th at 2.56 in the morning, Johnson is last seen at the Intercontinental Hotel at the Medical Center. She gets into an Uber HPD says was ordered by Nuobodo. He responded, detectives say, to an ad Johnson placed online. The Uber took Johnson to Nuobodo's old address on Windchase. Then he picks her up and takes her to his apartment on South Richmond, according to police. An hour later, his car is seen on surveillance video, leaving the complex. And at 512 in the morning, Johnson's phone connects with a cell tower near where her family finds it in Bear Creek Park later that day. The next two days, HPD says receipts show Nuobodo took out money, purchased supplies, and his internet searches included things like most forested parts of Houston. On May 13th, detectives got search warrants for his car and apartment. He was taken into custody during a traffic stop, but it's unclear when he was released. In the apartment, investigators found very strong support of Johnson's DNA, and in his car, a gun, knife, and shovel. My fear is now that, uh, and uh, hopefully I'm wrong, this is one of them cases where she's never going to be found.